Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome. Today we're doing another beautiful water bottle wrap. Here it is, one of these wraps up close. It is made entirely out of snake knots, which create a beautiful mesh-like pattern. On the bottom, we have a decorative pattern as well, in the shape of a star. This is made using cow hitches, as well as snake knots. At the top, you can do all sorts of finishes. Here I have a simple cord, a couple of beads, and a series of snake knots. For our project, you're going to need a water bottle. This one here is half a liter, so about 17 fluid ounces. For the cordage, I'm going to be using type 1 paracord, in my case in two different colors, in lengths of about 5 feet per strand. A metal ring is going to be used to start our wrap at the bottom. This specific one has a diameter of an inch. For the closing mechanism, which is placed around the neck of our bottle, we're going to be using about two and a half feet of paracord 550 and a cord stop. Our final two supplies are scissors and a lighter. To begin our project, we're going to attach our strands onto the ring. Here is how I do it. I start by tying a lark's head knot. Then, using one of the two ends, I continue with a cow hatch. So this is one strand attached. I'm going to keep adding strands until I fill out the entire ring. We continue forming the bottom by grabbing pairs of ends and tying a couple of snake knots with our ends. 
In my case, I'm going to be tying two, then moving on to the next pair, then again two, and moving on and so on. You can tie more if the bottom of your bottle is wider. So, regular snake knots. Tighten up right next to the ring, then repeat. When done, move on to the next pair. Then the next pair, and so on. When done, the bottom of your bottle holder is going to look something like this. Continue by grabbing a couple of rubber bands. Use them to secure the bottom onto the bottle. Pull on your ends to even them out. We now cover the body of our bottle with a mesh-like pattern, which is again done out of snake knots. We're going to be using pairs of ends to tie a series of snake knots. In my case, I'm going to line up three, then I'm going to move on to the next pair, then the next pair, and so on. So grab an end coming out of the snake knot on the left, then an end coming out of the snake knot on the right. Tie a series of snake knots. Just like before, same knot, just repeated three times.
So three snake knots, then I rotate and repeat. It is quite important that you line up your rows of snake knots nicely. After completing my first row, I slid the two rubber bands a bit further down, just to keep everything lined up. I continue with the second row, exactly the same way as I did the first row. So, an end from the left snake knot, an end from the right snake knot, Line up three new snake knots. Make sure that this distance here is about the same as this one here, just to keep things consistent. So, two ends done. Rotate, repeat with the next pair. Again, making sure that these knots here are lined up at about the same height as these three here. So, a lot of lining up. With this pair done, move on to the next one. 
So doing paired after the paired, row after row, until we reach the neck of our bottle. We continue by preparing the closing mechanism for our bottle wrap. This is done out of a piece of pair accord and the accord stop. Attach the cord around the neck of your bottle. Here is how I finish up my wrap by attaching my ends onto the neck cord. So essentially, I have two core strands as well as two working ends. I'm now going to tie a series of three snake knots done around the core. So the left end forms a loop. The right end passes through the loop top down. behind everything, over the top, into the loop, tying our first snake knot. Make sure everything is tightened up, pull firmly on the two ends, tightening up your snake knot. Let's say something like this. Repeat two more times. So left end creates a loop around the two core strands. The right end passes top down through the loop, then behind pretty much everything. over the top, into the loop. One more time. Tying our third snake knot. So, two ends finished. Rotate, repeat exactly the same way. When done, trim and melt the ends. Finally, I'm going to secure the two ends coming out of the neck cord with a series of snake knots as well. This is going to prevent the cord stop from sliding off off of the ends.
It is important that you leave a small space here so that your cord stop can slide and open up the neck, enabling you to slide off your bottle. So in my case, this distance here is enough. You can line up as many snake knots as you want. I'm going to do at least three, ideally five. A total of five snake knots. To finish up, we trim the two ends. Melt the ends. So guys, this concludes our tutorial. A nice looking bottle wrap done almost entirely out of snake knots. Thank you for joining me and see ya next time.